Oh my god, now that's one hell of a big music right there. Select a fire. But anyway, Hiya Force Ultimate Kirby is here, so... Started to play the games that I really haven't thought about playing it, but I just kind of decided to do it either way, and then Sonic Adventure DS. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Oh, they're going to, uh, going to do adventure mode? Your character. Man, it's been a while since I actually did play this game, both on the... Especially on the Steam. Actually, I mean, on the GameCube. Yeah, I actually played this, uh, started playing this game on the GameCube, and yes. And I and funny enough, just a little history about me, is that I started playing the Adventure 2 Battle, and then I played this game afterwards. So it's kind of a bit of an out of order, but... Yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and begin. Let's get him! Ah, good old graphics. <laughs> and this scene right here. Oh, and just so you know, uh, this is not going to be a full 100% uh, game completion. So uh, it was just me uh, playing all the uh, all the story mode and until the end. So yeah, this won't be you know 100%. So yeah, I'm not gonna collect all these emblem rings oh, and no yeah. achievements, something this like that. Nope. Oh, from my, all my freaking eyes, it's a chaos zero. You are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself. Lock on target, man. Ready? Well? Oh no! Our weapons are useless! Retreat! All personnel, fall back! Oh yeah! This could be fun! Yeah, I think I, I I think I spoke that a little too soon now, haven't I? So here, here it is. Wow, already from the beginning we actually get to fight against this boss right here, who is a just a total pushover, just jump and homing attack this dude in the brain and in the face. But and that would be it, and then it's done like a dinner. And there he goes. Mama. Ha, no rings. <laughs> Come on, you big drip. Where you going? Actually, let me uh, let me change the title. You know nothing, fool. It's chaos, the god of destruction. <laughs> huh? What? Tails? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Tails? Ah, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> oh, hey, dear waifu girl. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I couldn't have. I couldn't resist. Welcome to Emerald Coast. Well, that's okay. Fine. Let me actually go to the Emerald Coast. And here's the first stage, Emerald Coast. Ah, good old memories. So yeah, 
I actually, so yeah, it's actually quite, uh, it's actually quite interesting because I never actually thought, you know, Sonic would actually have the 3D, you know, after Sonic 3D Blast, which it's also a game I actually did play it before, but I don't, it actually never gave me that much of an impression, but this one, or should I say this one and this actual sequel, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, it was a pretty dang nice, and, you know, and... I don't know why. I mean, I never actually thought. I mean, I actually never felt that this game and the one that three, uh, you know, the 2D classic ones are pretty much different. I mean, it's quite funny for me to say this, but yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually first remember the time when I actually first got this not too long after got the GameCube version. Yeah. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, uh, just a little history about a uh, history about me is that uh, Super Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh crap! I think I I don't I don't think I actually did pass through that game right. I, I, oh my god! Like freaking killer whale. Well, yeah, this game and uh, sorry, Super Smash Bros. Melee and the sequel of this game were actually some of my earliest, you know, the Nintendo GameCube games. Yeah, I still I actually did even though I actually did play sorry, uh, what is it, the Super Smash Bros. Melee a little more often. Well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> But yeah, and maybe we're already at the second part of the stage already. Yeah, I, I don't think story mode isn't all that long to be honest. Like I think Sonic story is actually pretty much the longest. But other than that, but yeah, just if you're just going for the story mode purely, it doesn't actually take that much of a time. But yeah, I th but I think I probably jinx myself the moment I say this. I'm certainly hoping I don't actually run into glitches or any bugs all that much because I kn I do know I I do know for the fact uh, for the fact that you know the GameCube version is actually the least in a glitch yet, whereas the other one still has some problems here and there. But yeah, hopefully I don't actually end up you know. Jump on panel number one. Oh, and here's the, the, the tutorial orb, so to speak. Jump as soon as you land on a panel, or else you'll fall. I think this is what eventually becomes the your quick time event buttons in Sony uh in Sony Unleashed, I think. But I haven't played all pretty much the all the you know Sony Adventure or I'm not the 3D Sonic games. Like I I did miss the what you, I actually did miss some of the Sonic series, whereas uh it was both intentional but it was somewhat uh, unintentional. So like Sonic the Hedgehog 3, for example. Anyway, the stage clear. Yeah, Sonic Adventure 3, I don't know. You know, Sonic, uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, that, you know, that's PS3, Xbox, that shenanigan, I haven't played that because, well, I, I didn't have the PS3 at the time, and I was really care about the PS3, uh, for, for PS3, yeah, but. Not bad. Anyway, let will see, the story mode mission has been completed for the win. Hey, Sonic! Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. Oh my god. Hello there, DMCA. Please don't act as a god. Please don't act. Please don't be a meanie to me. Why not just use my plane, the tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta da! Whoa! A chaos. Wow. Yep. I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. Wow. So I'm sure is actually now. lucky so for I that. Figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharge! You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the Mystic Ruins. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! <laughs> Yeah, hopefully I don't get DMCA by that because we all know Sega. Oh, yeah, because we all know the Se We all because we all know the Sega's, you know, policies and whatnot. Anyway, we actually gotta go to the other place, Mystic Ruins. So where the hell? Uh, excuse me. How am I supposed to get there? Oh yeah, I gotta go to the train station, right? Take the train to the Mystic Ruins. I gotta say, while well, that the tutorial orb, so to speak, well, that was actually helpful, but it was, but 
part of it was kind of li- was kind of not, uh, not being all the helpful if I just say to myself, and I'll explain it why in just a second. I say I was actually kind of stuck at some point because uh, at some point of the game, and that, but I saw managed to do that. I managed to go through that. I believe if if there's a Tales of Workshop. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! And of course. <laughs> Giant. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. You know, I thought you say, I thought we stopped calling Robotnik ever since like my like, class Sonic, but I just realized that they we still go for Robotnik until until Sonic Adventure. Now what do you want? I want all of the chaos emeralds. Better not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! Well now. There you go. In a way, this is the first boss battle for Eggman. It's called Egg Hornet. Yeah, harder looks like any bee ish or stinger to me if I just say to myself. But yeah, no big, you know, not not much of a big problem for this dude. So what you gotta do is wait for him to, yeah, wait for him to actually dig like that. Yeah, and it just kind of he just keep on hitting it. Very easy if I do. Very easy boss. I mean, but. <laughs> Way too easy if I had to say so myself, anyway, but anyway, you gotta wait. Yeah, I just did that, but yeah, uh, yeah, I was surely under the assumption if I just kind of go for flurry attack or multiple attacks on it, that he would be hey, done like I'll a dinner. But I guess, but I did that. Good thing I didn't have to waste uh, more time than necessary for this dude. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! Oh no! Oh my god, Sonny. Don't you know the war that never let your guard down even when, vic even when victorious? Chaos? Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? It's just as the stone tablets predicted. <laughs> what in the strength increases every time I feed him a chaos emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me. Together, we'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos! Let's find another emerald, shall we? In before that becomes an empire. In the sequel. Yeah, I realize- yeah. Sonic! We can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails! Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform! So, it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? So yeah, yeah, it really made me realize that how we, you know Eggman was still known as the Robotnik until this day, but at some point in the sequel that was actually being uh, he was now known as Eggman, and if that wasn't enough, now he's actually making uh, he was a Robotnik land, and now he's calling an empire for the sequel. So yeah, the Wind Stone look it looks like a key. The design must be mean something. Yeah, I and. I'm not okay. I can definitely tell that I probably was not the only person who was actually got confused by all these shenanigans. Anyway, I saw this weird plate in the cave, and scrawled on it in, uh, in ancient reading was the word wind. I bet it's a clue to something. Yeah, the words are pretty. The windstone. Oh, okay. Anyway, the wind. 
Ten second stage, Windy Valley, and this is without a doubt my favorite stages of all time, and you'll see in why. But yeah, it's really yeah playing this game really brings back all the memories, and yeah something tells me I really should have played this game a little earlier. But you know I had the other priorities of the game, so anyway I yeah I kind of still want to play this game on the GameCube version if I had a chance. Chance, but yeah, anyway, look at that. Sonic is running like the wind and he's not even falling. So, yep, don't fear, just kind of run straight and you're good to go. And you're turning ring for a win. And here's the next part. So, hopefully, I actually will be able to make it this far. Anyway, oh crap. No, oh, 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 why? Yeah, I could never make that even though I tried my best, but oh well. At least I tried. Anyway, we're stuck into a, in the tornado. Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. And funny thing is, this I think this actually this stage was a thing in the I think Dream Discus for Son, uh, Mario Sonic at the Olympic uh, at the at the Olympic London Games. Yeah, Dream Discus. Yeah, you're actually riding on this freaking discus, and, uh, and then you're just riding on it. That's pretty freaking crazy if you ask me. But anyway. We're almost done. And here it is. This... And the moment I actually heard this music, and I was like, wait, what's the three, Sonic's 3D yes, uh, 3D Blast music is doing here? That was, that was actually pretty freaking crazy if I just say so myself. Anyway, got a speed boost. Oh yeah, one thing I also just noticed is oh okay camera if you work with me please yeah is that Sonic's running animation is kind of like a ninja it's, it's, you know it's kind of like a, those ninja ones you know you know where you're actually I believe you can actually run like that so that and yeah he there yeah Sonic's actually kind of running like some kind of Naruto shenanigans so <laughs> and I've heard that um, if you actually run like that it does actually reduces the air resistance so to speak so. Pretty nice feature if you ask me. <laughs> Part of me really wishes just to try running like that. And you know, yeah, running like that and see if it actually reduces the air resistance, but that would be way too much of a weep if I just say to myself. And hey there, Mr. Yeah, Hawk or Eagle, whatever that is. So yeah. Sonic 3D Plus is also one game I actually did play it, but I actually but as I said, I was not very much, much much of a Sonic person even back then, but I just, I played like first couple of stages and that was about it. I mean I had fun, but I just still didn't get the gist of it uh, even to these days. Yep, I just kind of start stop playing it. I wonder if Sonic 3D Blast will be available in the Switch online. Uh, will be the on will be available in the Switch online. You know the you know Sega Genesis. Yeah, I believe Sonic uh, 3D Blast. If I if I if I'm not mistaken, it does have a, there's a bit of a console differences, but it still has the yeah, not bad. It still is a thing, but you know I don't I don't want to pay a, a, another like thirty dollars ish just for yeah just for another yeah, thirty dollars so I can, so that I can actually play that. I mean any and any thirty dollars or so just so I can actually play the you know, both the N64. And the Sega Genesis might actually be a good trade, or you know that you know extra three dollars. It doesn't that doesn't seem all that much, but you know that's kind of a little ish. Ugh, just got stretch. And actually, let me get a quick. Uh, let me actually get a quick drink. Yep, I'm getting dehydrated already. There we go. Oh yeah, this is actually the part that actually made me wonder because yeah, I had zero clue of where to go because even if I talk to this girl, this orb right here. There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. That's not quite exactly what I've heard. I believe the I believe the orb was saying some, 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 something like, "Have you walked around this entire city before?" There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. Yeah, yeah, I remember that when I played a GameCube, they, uh, that orb gave me even less details and be like, Did you, uh, did you walk the entire stage and square? And I was like, 
What? Am I am I have to go am I have to go through this uh this, am I have to go through the in this in, am I have to go go around and then like it collect some collect something? Ouch. Yeah, this is where you're actually supposed to go. Yeah, you're actually supposed to go to the sewer. Yikes, that's a little disgusting. And we got ourselves a light shoes. Now you've got light, light speed shoes. I mean, oopsie daisy. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Yep, just like that. Ready? Yeah, once you have sort enough power, Sonic will have this in some kind of crystal-ish color, and then... Booyah! Hey, don't use the back door! Oh, I'm sorry, that was the- this was the only place I go. Um, um, so... This right here is actually a, um, very special- So yeah, you may think, uh, that's some kind of only jewels only, but this is a chow egg, the golden one. So yeah, if you actually can bring it, and if you actually make it hatch, then yeah, I believe golden chow will appear, and... I believe- yeah, right here. There's- is- there's actually a stone? Uh, there's actually a stone. Actually, you know what? Let me actually try this some other time. Because I actually have one more thing to do before I actually make it to the next stage. That is if I actually go to that one hotel looking place. But yeah, even though I'm not much of a Sonic person, and you know, I you know, playing this game certainly brings me a lot of memories, both good times and how I had to go through some shenanigans in order to Play this game even on the song, even on the story mode. So, yeah, I believe there's another uh, level up uh, items. This one is optional, but I think it will be probably probably for the best. No, come on! Oh yeah, you want a second try this? I gotta collect. Yeah, I gotta charge it once more. There you go. And it's right here. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Ready? Yeah, it def it actually ha almost like either half or slightly more than half. Uh, it has a uh, half or more uh, for collect. Uh, you know, in order to collect those orbs, you actually need to go for the light speed dash. So. Actually, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know what? Let me. I'm not gonna worry about the golden stuff uh, right now because, yeah. If you, in case you're wondering, uh, Chow, the, the Chow Garden stuff. Uh, it's not. I'm probably not gonna do that all as much as. as the yeah, it's kind of. Be, it'll be too annoying if I do that as well. So anyway. Anyway, if if you want to open this next stage right here. Just hit that, and booyah. There we go. Ha, oh, Casino Polis. So this way you actually have to collect a certain amount of rings in order to make a progress, but... Try and deposit as many rings as you can. Yeah, you actually gotta Again, deposit you uh, uh, rings, and because that ring will be changed into chips, and that will cause some kind of platforms in order to get there. So yeah, you actually need to get some... Yeah, get some of them. Well, there are many ways, you know, with to get the rings, you know, such as... You, you know, you hit this... You know, hit this. You know what is like this ruling machines, but I bet that there's also two uh, also mini games you can actually play. Uh, you know, play. Yep, if you go in here. Hey, it's nice in the dreams. It's basically a uh, pinball with Sonic, so like, that's pretty freaking amazing.
Oh my god, seriously? Yeah, even to this even to these days, I still have no idea how in the world this kind of pinball does work. Well, it's still a nice feature, not gonna lie. Well, pfft. Yeah, I believe there's also Steam version that where it features nice, and I saw someone playing the game. Well it, it, well, it was quite a while ago, but... Yeah, it was actually looked pretty dang fun, but you guys are, you guys already know me. I'm not much of a Sega person, so... <laughs> I wonder what the collecting all these cards would do. I never... I never thought about it, nor do- uh, I never thought about it, to be honest. I think 138 should be enough for now. And I believe there's also one other, uh, uh pinball game that I can play, but... But for now... Let's go ahead and charge up the ri uh, uh, deposit the rings and. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Oh my god. No, my beautiful rings. No. Okay, maybe not. Not maybe not. Not technically enough. How many? I wonder how many rings you should at, at least collect. Maybe once. Maybe three hundred rings. Yeah, there it is, slot in. Yep, there it is, slot in pinball. Ah, uh, here's the one Sonic is uh, pinball that's actually for Sonic. Huh? For Sonic base, I mean. Well. I, it, yeah, it, it is safe to assume this may actually kind of take a little while and this is actually one of the one of the reason why I don't gamble stuff in the casino place looking places I wonder if this game is actually will be available or it will be region locked in Europe because Yeah, I believe Europe uh, is actually it's one of the uh, places to where they would not tolerate any and I mean any of these gotcha shenanigans so I, mean, I think they still... Yeah, I think they would still over... I mean, they... I mean, I think they do overlook some of the contents uh, if that's something that you actually need in order, in order to enjoy fully. You know, such as Genshin, which I'm actually surprised they would actually uh, admit that. Yeah, because I think, if, if I recall correctly, Genshin also has some, some of these gacha... Uh, elements to it, which you know, is, which is one of the last elements that you know European uh, Europe nations does actually tolerate. But considering the fact that they actually did, uh... oh no, crap. Well, this is certainly going to be lovely as hell. But yeah, I was kind of surprised that you know, you know. Uh, I know th I know I'm talking about a, a bit of a different games we're talking uh t different games but but yeah uh yeah Europe nation uh, European nations actually does not tolerate any of the gacha uh, got, uh you know got the gacha machine and yeah make that another reason why you know they actually had to remove the you know some of these casino and some of these casinos you know for uh, yeah some of the casinos uh stuff for Pokemon uh for, uh, for Pokemon so. Yeah, I believe uh, Pokemon uh, you know, the gener uh, you know, Gen 1 to 4, they actually had this, you know, some kind of, po uh, you, know, you know, the Pokemon uh, Game Center where you can play all kinds of uh, stuff, you know, such as, you know, Roulette, you know, Roulette and Slot Machine, all that jazz, but that's actually gone at some point, and 
it took me ages to find out why they would actually do that. You know, yeah, why would they actually uh, remove that? Maybe they thought... Me, uh, yeah, I don't know why, but... I realized that not too long ago, it, it was because of these uh, European nations. Because, yeah, Pokemon became re really world, uh, worldwide hit. Not just within the United States, but also... Yeah, global. It became a global hit, so... Yeah, and I... Yeah, that's why they actually did decide to do that, but... Wow, so Pokemon, they did remove some of this, you know, game machine, but they... The Genshin Impact is still... It's quite a hit in Europe? I say... Okay, well, that was quite something, but... But I guess, um, for Genshin's case... Yeah, I'm not much of Genshin player, so I, I have no right to say... Say anything too much about it, but... At least that got... At least the gotcha for Genshin, if I, if I know any better, that's actually somewhat necessary, so... I believe just actually ready. You have to be really, really careful. And with all these spike balls. I'm really surprised that, you know, playing that pinball right there, slot one, would actually take you to the... It, you know, that would take you to the... Yeah, that would actually take you right to this underground. And Ow. I don't know why Sonic does that. Maybe it's because uh, there's some kind of water draw right there. And yep, yeah, if you actually go right there, casino, uh, Sonic gets a nice little shower. 245. I'm hoping that should that's actually really good, uh, more than enough to actually for me to reach to that Chaos Emerald. I think that's a white one, even though it looks pretty dang gray, uh, grayish to me. I take all my marine. I think there should be more. I think there should be enough. I think. Okay, maybe not. Okay, if, I think I need four hundred then. Getting all these rings, it sure is a shenanigan. <laughs> Hopefully, this actually should be more, should be enough. There you go. Four hundred it is. Four hundred it is. I think. Yeah, not bad. Ugh. Man, the nice sneak attack. Or oh, is that sleeping gas? Or snoozing gas, so, so to speak? Oh, man. What happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic! We need to get busy! Oh, hey there, Cream the Rabbit. That was an actually nice uh, Easter egg right there. And yes, this is also the one part where I actually had trouble. So, so I know he had, uh, we up here something, but where was it? But here it is. The 
the train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. And we actually have to carry all this, and we have to bring this all the way to the Mystic Ruins. Yeah, I was low-key. Yeah, that's actually another reason why I haven't played this game for so long after getting this far. So I had no idea what to do, but I just kind of figured that I, I just wanted to play it anyways. So, but, and here I am. I'm actually kind of good. Uh, I'm actually doing quite a decent job at it. And oh boy, that was actually pretty dang close. I even started to think how what what, what would have happened if I actually fall down there like an idiot. That would be back. That would be that would cost me all a hell of a backtracking. Now right, here's a new area, and if we put out right here. There you go. Uh, let me actually go here because uh, just in case I actually... Nope. Yeah, there... Uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping I would actually be able to get there, but... Nope. No plan. Yep, no plan whatsoever. And here it is, Ice Cap. And this act, the name of the stage kind of rem does reminds me of the the one stage. Uh, actually, I never played the Sonic. You know what, what, what is it? The Sonic, the Hedgehog three to this far, but I know it's actually the one of the stage's name. Had had the Ice Cap. Frozen, jump a couple of times, and you should be able to crack through. Yeah, it's actually very yeah. It, it's actually. An icicle and jump. You should be able to jump backwards, but don't hold on too long. You'll slip right off. Oh crap, that was a bad aim. Yeah, the music actually is quite different from what I know from the IT game, even though I never got to that far in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Nor do I want to right now. Nor do I want to actually. I mean, if I play Sonic or Origins, then I would be able to get this far, get to the far, but I just want to never just want to try that. Not to mention I don't want to spend yet another one. I think the game is like $40, 30 to $40 each just for the standard uh, standard edition. Nope. And here it is, the second part of the ice cap. What the heck? Okay, I thought I could break, break that, but never mind. I'll jump the spike. And that's the thing, you know, is that sometimes you, when, uh, when you actually got scarred by something and that that scar will live, live you forever and it kind of does, does excruciate it whenever you actually encounter anything that, that's similar. That kind of sucks, you know. I wonder if, I wonder if, if, if there's a, even a treatment for that, especially when it comes to a game itself. I wonder if there's, uh, I wonder if there will be any people I wonder if there will be any people out there who... Yeah, I wonder if there will be people who's actually... Had almost had the similar experience as I do with the Sonic as to Mario games. I mean, there would, there would definitely be people and I certainly have no intention of... Forcing them to play any of the Sonic uh, Mario games. There's the iceberg right there. I'm sorry, that huge uh, icicle right there. And okay, here comes probably the most epic part of this game. Of land, and this is where the uh, where the snowboarding part actually becomes a thing. So we gotta run as as ASAP. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got them not not just the music itself, but this entire you know snowboard section is pretty dang fun too, if you ask me. I could actually play this stage all day long, but yeah, I mean not not all day long, but just uh, pretty much every day and woohoo! I 
And if you actually go pretty jump, you can actually do the little trick and you actually get uh, some quite speed boost. And yeah, I couldn't make it to that the one in the left, but pretty dang huge. It's a pretty dang far, and all right. Jump! Oh, all right, all right, and yeah, sucks we couldn't, we don't get any uh, points for that. That egg, man. Awesome. Whee! Whoa, 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 ha, 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 you miss, you miss, you miss, ha, 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 ha. Oh, and here's another one. Jump! Yeah. Awesome. Oh, we couldn't actually perform the tricks. No. Okay, what are those parachute? What are those balloons are doing there? Or blimps, I mean, I should say. Yes. And there it is. That's the two Chaos Emeralds we have now in position. Possession, I mean. Yeah, not bad. Oh, that was a weird camera struggle. Uh, that was kind of ca that was actually a little weird camera thingy uh, back there. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. So oh, what will be doing? Yeah, but here's the thing: is that yeah, this game's in a guideline is actually not that kind. So. Once you, once you actually, if you actually are very uh, new to the game, yeah, you ha you will have no idea where you, uh, where you, where you, uh, where to go, and it's actually pretty What's dang that, frustrating. Knuckles? Whoa! Something bugging you? No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. What? Let's just see you take them, huh? Why is that even character oh, no. battles are pretty dang easy too? Just hit them three times. Oh. Oh no. Give it your best shot. Yeah, just three times and you're oh, good no. to go. Hit them three times and you're good. The end. How easy is that? Uh, oh no. The chaos emeralds. <laughs> Of course, of course, of course. Uh, Eggman. Uh oh, ha, like taking candy from a baby. That's a chaos emerald. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You Knuckles, you have been, you have a history of being Hold used by right Eggman, there, and you are letting that, you you're letting the same thing this. happen again. Knuckles. Don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Yeah, exactly. Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say the same I thing. Have four lovely emeralds. Chaos. I was actually weird way of calling chaos. Wow. Is that These are for you, my friend. Transformed again. Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. Yep, yes, indeedy. Anyway, here is Chaos 4, which is giant big fish of chaos. Yep. Now we're actually fighting in this freaking swamp. So, what you gotta do is, yeah, keep moving. Keep, but technically, if you actually walk in this swamp looking place, you can still walk. But uh, you will actually get, you will eventually go lower and lower. And if you actually take too long, yeah, that that's pretty much what what, uh, what will happen. Yeah, you still, you, yep, yeah, you you actually gotta be stay on your toes, and you know, you know, if if you want to be safe, and yeah, just step on here on this land, uh, on this lily pad or whatever that is, and wait for that chaos four to actually expose his face above the surface, and yeah, booyah. Now his HP is definitely a lot. 
there's so many of them. There are his HP has definitely increased to the point where the boss the best the boss battle itself is not all that hard. But yeah, it's gonna take cer it's certainly gonna take a little while. Man, sometimes it's kind of all con cause some kind of some, some kind of shock well, shock wave ish, and then that just kind of drops all these uh, lily pads. Yep, just like that. I think there's a way. Actually, I I think there I think there's a way you can actually uh, defeat these dudes a little easily e easily, but. I think I did forget, or if I haven't, then there's- or I haven't actually looked it up. And cameras are kind of being a little- not working with me for a bit. And there he goes. Oh boy, it's the freaking giant! It's the freaking air care, a uh, freaking giant airship. Behold my floating masterpiece, the egg carrier. Uh -huh. But it pales in comparison to the power of chaos. Thank you! Until we meet again, my friend! <laughs> hey! We can't let him get away! Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado! Yeah! <laughs> you guys go! What about, what about you, dude? I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Come on! Let's get going! I can place Knuckles. Huh, lovely. And I had no intention of falling from there. I don't know why I did that like an idiot. <laughs> Ah, I I didn't know that was actually a voice. Just wanted to check and see what he has to say. Sonic, wait here for a second. Well, you better hurry up. Because Sonic hates, uh, Sonic dislikes waiting, and he dislikes boring. <coughs> I wonder though, are those palm trees are artificial? Oh my god, another deep possible DNCA. Please don't, please don't. Chase Act 2, the sub game. Yep, yeah, game inside the game. Now, here's a bit of Sky Chase Act where we get to do some bit of an PS. Ow. So, you basically have to shoot down this airplane and you actually. Uh, you actually gotta cook, you actually gotta just take it down and you get for, for more points. And the best thing to do is just uh, survive. But, yeah, if I, I do recall, it's like there's a way you can actually lock. You know, lock all of them? Oh. Yeah, but that's actually where you can actually lock them all and then you can just shoot them like that. I I, I think you got you can actually hold the uh if the enemies uh if the enemies inside, so yeah, you actually gotta hold and just release the button and booyah. Yeah, it took me ages to find it out, and I actually saw someone playing the game and I was like, wait, 
how do you actually un how do you actually how do you actually uh, lo uh, lock on to them when you actually get get to do some uh, homing uh, homing shot to them? Yeah, but now I realize what what, oh, what I gotta do. Pretty dang cool feature if you ask me, but yeah. I say this uh this sub game is actually pretty dang it's actually pretty dang awesome huh Surprisingly, this tornado actually has a lot more HP than I thought. So you don't, so unless you're actually, unless you're being a little care, uh, careless, then you don't actually have to worry about, yeah, or, yeah, worry about it too much. That was lovely as hell. That's cr that's actually pretty dang weird falling sound effect if I do say so myself. Tails? Tails. You're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. <laughs> What's with that kid? Huh? <laughs> 